I'm the curator of an exhibition entitled Double X, Women Representing Women, which is an exhibition that seeks to explore the ways women are using themselves and other women to question or challenge ideas about contemporary representation. This show features works by 13 different artists. It opens on Friday, August 31st from 5 to 7.30 p.m. and the exhibition continues through Saturday, October 6th. A lot of the works in the exhibition are actually photography. I think it's um, shown itself to be a medium which is um, very amenable to a number of contemporary artists working today. Uh, you know, it ties into video works and uh, TV and contemporary image making. Diana Spungen and uh, Nicole Engelman are presenting two different video pieces. Uh, one is entitled Spoon. One of the fascinating things about these two women is that when they make their collaborative video works and all their works are collaborative, they dress identically and they try to think about the ways in which they mirror each other. And so in Spoon we see um, each of the women feeding the other woman mouthfuls of what appears to be chocolate and vanilla pudding. And then the image actually runs in reverse, so it has a really abject appearance that they're actually spitting the stuff back out into the spoon. But it's just a kind of a very silent and quiet idea. And you know, when you think about it, the idea that you might feed someone, it actually resonates on a lot of levels because as the population ages, we have to think about the fact that we might be responsible for feeding our, feeding our parents. And yet, you know, when we're younger, we think about the idea that we might be feeding our children. So this whole act, which seems to be very humorous, can be read on an incredibly complex and incredibly primal sort of level. There's another image in which we see them just running through a cornfield. We see them running towards us and we see them running away from us and it's a two-part video installation that plays back to back. And I think it's very fascinating that uh, when you think about something like corn in contemporary society, you think, hey, wow, fantastic, we're all going to be having ethanol. But you also think, if you're of a particular age, of the Stephen King movie, Children of the Corn, and every child has often thought, ooh, you know, that cornfield looks really enticing to go and play in, but there's absolutely no way that I'm going in. So it kind of has this universal fear or horror or just disquieting element to it. They have the only video pieces that are in the exhibition. We also have paintings, we have works on paper, we have an installation, a major installation by an artist named Melissa Dedurian. Melissa is fantastic because she draws her inspiration from vintage Playboy centerfolds and her work consists of her reinterpreting those works as custom design string art installations. I think anytime you take something out of context like that you also take away some of its shock value because we think of string art ships or string art Donald Ducks or whatever they might be as being these really funny things and then when you take this oh my goodness this you know quasi pornographic image if anyone actually believes that uh, and then make it a piece of string art then you find yourselves um, thinking about it in a very different way. She's actually coming to the gallery to install. One of the things that's great about Melissa Dedurian's work is that she does site-specific work. She comes and works in the space, so she'll be here for four days actually installing the work on site, which is a great opportunity for our students because they'll be able to meet her and actually speak with her and learn about the way she undertakes her practice. There are two works in the exhibition by Kelly Connell, and I think they're unusual for a couple of reasons. One is entitled Pool Shark, and the other is entitled The Space Between. Now what's so fascinating about these images is that the subject of the images is Kelly Connell herself. So there are two people in each of the images, and there are two people in all of Kelly's images. And Kelly is not an identical twin. This is not her sister who has to spend all of her life being a part of her art. These are actually digitally manipulated images in which Kelly is the subject of both of the snapshots, and then she then collages them together to create the um, appearance that there were two people in the original work. Now I think the other thing that's so fascinating about them is that they show a lot of very intimate moments and it's very obvious that it's two women and I think that that really makes us step back on a number of levels and think about the ways in which the women are representing themselves because in many of the photographs Kelly is being you know both the traditionally male role and the traditionally female role, if we can even think about it that way in contemporary society. And I don't know that we can, but I think what we see is someone who came up with an idea about representing these particular moments, some of them very mundane and some of them uh, very, very personal, by using herself to stand in as the subject in both instances. 
And the other thing is her skills are really amazing. Like when you look at the images, you can't tell that they've been digitally collaged together. She obviously knows what she's doing. So from a technical point of view, they're great. But, but even if you didn't know that, you'd look at them. And I think most people might find these images a little bit disquieting or a little unnerving because it's, it's hard to tell. You know, is this her identical twin? Or what are the circumstances of these? Or why do these two women look like they're so similar? So I think that's a really um, a great, great pair of works. This is a work by a New York artist named Heather Bennett, and the fascinating thing about this, for the purposes of showing this in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, and one of the reasons why I was so interested in this is because it seems like um, you see a, um, a woman sitting in the back seat of a car with an African-American man, and I think right from the outset in a city like Birmingham, Alabama, that may raise some eyebrows in terms of history or thinking. But I think the other thing is the work feels very theatrical. It feels incredibly staged. You see what looks like an, a, a vintage car. And again, I think in uh, our particular environment, that's just something else that challenges expectations or preconceptions. I think when you think about some of the artists working in Double X, one of an artist's main motivations is to challenge preconceptions. And I'm not saying that that's the motivation for Heather making this work, but it certainly was the curatorial motivation for me choosing it.